many presenters, so many projects, so many memories. I'm Jennifer Beck, welcoming you to the Allen County Fair Recap Show number one, brought to you by Hefner Dairy. Ice cream makes life a little sweeter. The 2020 Allen County Junior Fair will go down in history. It's the year the fair was closed to the public. No rides, no concerts, very few vendors, but the heart of the fair remained, the youth. TV44 jumped in to bring parts of the fair to the public through our ability to live stream and broadcast on TV. Our coverage started with the Junior Fair Style Show. And then on Saturday, we live streamed the Junior Fair Poultry Market Meat Pen Judging. TV44 is live streaming today's event. We encourage you to remind your friends and family they can watch right now on WTLW TV 44 or online at WTLW.com. Our thanks to TV 44 for their partnership with the Allen County Junior Fair. Three hours after the first chicken left its pen, the winners were announced. In fifth place, we have Kaylee Sasada. In fourth place, we have Grace Myers. In third place, we have Isabella Klum. Our reserve champion is Landon Selhorse. And our grand champion overall is Matthew Peel. Chickens on Saturday, as well as dogs, horses, and the livestock judging contest. Our cameras caught the tail end of the dog costume show and just a bit of the rest of the day. Here's a short recap from the Saturday portion of the Allen County Junior Fair. My mom actually suggested it and I thought it was a pretty good idea since I liked Batman and Robin growing up. We found this one online and we created this one from stuff we had, from multiple stuff from pants to even fabric. Junior Fair, so many animals and incredible projects, but yet so much more, including special interest projects. Now I'd like to introduce you to the special interest princess, Cadence Richard. This year I did Insect Adventures 3, uh, Archery, and I am also taking Rabbits, and I did so for others. Insect Adventures 3, I enjoyed and found interesting the different insects that I got to find um, and do a lot of research for them. Uh, depending on the insect, depending on how hard it was to find it, most of the time if we did like a huge search for them, we didn't come up with anything. But then I'd walk, be walking down the sidewalk and find a really awesome insect laying on the sidewalk. So. It really depended. Uh, a lot of times I have to use a net to catch them while they're flying, which is probably the hardest part. Uh, I was looking for a lot of bees and dragonflies, and dragonflies aren't necessarily hard to find, they're just really hard to catch. Uh, and the 
bees were a little bit harder as well, especially wasps and things like that because you had to be careful when you got them in your net because you didn't want to get stung. I also did archery this year, which I have done in years past, but this year I didn't get to shoot with my archery project as much and so I got to spend more time doing research on my bow and how that works and building a tuning stand for my bow. I'd probably say that it is so just important because you really learn about who you are with the various projects and different areas. I know that me personally probably would never have found out the job I want to do and my interests without doing this, these adventures through 4-H and it just really helps get to know you and your community even. Stay tuned for more special interest features as well as 4-H member spotlights. But next we move on to Sunday's recap. It was a big day on Sunday for the Junior Fair Market Lamb Show. Now one thing we haven't talked about is the number of people in this building. It's very light. We were told it had to keep it at less than 50%, which we definitely have. But in previous years, and hopefully next year, this would be, a, this would be filled a bit more. Uh, in, in previous years, you wouldn't be sitting down. <laughs> um, and, and that's pretty much how it goes. You know, I've told everyone, I said, it's really hard to not be in here. I know we all love livestock, and I know we all want to see as much livestock as we can. And it's really uh, hard to not be in there. Here, especially when we get up in these upper weights. Uh, like I said, I commend the, the breeders and the families and the 4-H and FFA advisors that are helping getting these sheep ready. Uh, an extremely deep set of sheep out here. Uh, these exhibitors have done a fantastic job presenting them. Uh, there's a pair of sheep out here that suit me pretty well, and, and if you watch me, I think I did in the white face earlier, you can probably predict where we're going here. Uh, pretty good pair of lambs out here. I'm going to go out and congratulate your champion reserve. I look forward to getting them back in for our overall because we've had some really good division winners out here today. So uh, let's give all six of these exhibitors a round of applause, and I'll go out and congratulate your champion reserve. Thank you. There's your Herbert Fed champion. We'll be piecing together our final drive, the grand drive, uh, the big one of them all, um, which I guess if you're not a livestock person may not be as exciting as it is <laughs> uh, for us who uh, really can't wait to get out here and see how it sorts itself. Um, this is one of those things that I can tell you as an exhibitor, all those back there are hearts pumping 90,000. Mm. 90, <laughs> Uh, you know, waiting on that grand champion, uh, uh, you know, waiting to figure out who's the best of them all for the year. Now and we be, will be competing for final drive. Exhibiting for grand and reserve champions are Division One Connor Swartz, uh, lamb number 526, and Ty Clark, lamb number 477, Division Two Andrew Bowers, Lamb number 531, Emerson Holker, lamb number 550, Division 3, Logan Hefner, lamb number 489, Lillian Miller, lamb number 395, Division 4, Andrew Bowers, lamb number 533, Logan Hefner, lamb number 490, Division 5, Peyton Holker, lamb number 5. 49 and Riley Bowers, 536. So as we get these out to the field. Our sponsors field. for our medal signs are Wayne Williams family, our grand champion banner, the sponsor is Kennedy Family Show Lamb, and reserve champion banner is Jim Long. Let's give a big round of applause for them. So as we get these out into the field, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a little bit of what to expect for you guys. Uh, all these will come out here. They'll all get placed. The judge will kind of walk around, 
um, take one last look, probably put his hands on him. Uh, in his mind, he'll have that top fair. Typically, they usually kind of keep everybody waiting. They don't like to sort them mm -hmm. off to the side. They'll get a real good <laughs> look at them and figure out what they want. Well, well let's start off by giving these uh, 10 individuals a big round of applause for making it out in the camping drive. It, it definitely took a lot to get out in here today. There's, there's a lot of good sheep that are back in the pens and, and I hope those exhibitors are out here taking a look, those that aren't helping someone else out and, uh, and evaluating the sheep that we have out here and, and, and understanding some of the quality that was in your particular class or division today. Uh, to step away from the sheep a little bit, uh, a real quick thing, I, I don't know where I'm in the order as far as some of the shows that have gone on at the fairs. Uh, and, and, I, and I probably just half a dozen or more county fairs this year. Uh, we need to talk about a little bit what's going on in the world. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in the world that uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I sure hate to turn the news on. Uh, it, it, it's extremely refreshing to come out and, and to be a part of something like this. Uh, to, get, to get back to normal, to get kids out here and families out here working together, uh, I'm extremely proud of these kids for getting out here and, and, and sticking with us through the summer. We didn't know what was coming in the spring. Uh, there was times, you know, I have two young high school kids of my own. There was times that we weren't sure what was going to happen, but we're going to sure try to finish things. And, and I think these kids need to be commended for doing that out here as well. Uh, to the 4-H advisors that stuck with it and, and, and went through those meetings of how are we going to get this done, what's this going to look like, all the extra hours, uh, I thank you. To the, to the fair board and, and the fair committee that, that put this together and, and, and fought the battles of... Uh, uh, of having this and, and, and working with the different peoples at the health department and whatnot, I, I sure appreciate you. For the county officials that, that, that went ahead and stuck their necks out and said, we're gonna put this on for these kids, I, I, I thank you as well. Uh, and the parents, uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind of uh, experience you had with this, but I hope it's similar to the one that I have. I have two kids that are extremely, uh, probably pretty solid athletes and we're, we're constantly chasing, constantly running to this, constantly running to that. Uh, to be locked down a little bit sure was awful refreshing. Uh, we, we got to know each other a little better. We got to spend some time together that maybe we wouldn't have realized some of the simple things in life that are so important. Uh, it, it's just something that uh, I think we take for granted. And, uh, sorry. Uh, But, but just that time that you get to have, the, the memories that are being created, understanding what is truly important in life. I, I think this has brought all that to a head and I, I think we have to be thankful that, that something like this brought us back into things and understanding what's important in life. And, and, and it's these kids out here. So I, I just can't say enough. Uh, the Sheep Show has been outstanding today. I've, I've truly enjoyed working with the kids. Uh, I, like I've said multiple times, what a deep set of lambs. And if you look down through here, I think you can see a pattern of what I was after. Uh, just a great set of sheep today. I talked them pretty hard in divisions. I'm not going to talk a lot more. We're going to go out and select our, our champion reserve. And then I think we're working through top 10, top, top seven lambs that will be entered into the carcass show later. So as I go out and congratulate Lees, let's give another round of applause. I may, may do one more handle here, and then we'll get our champion reserve. Thank you. Well, it's quiet in here except for the animals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I could tell you right here, um, you know, he got a little bit philosophical in his uh, speech there because it really doesn't mean that. It's more than just the animals. It's mm -hmm. more than just the kids. This is something we love and something we have a drive for. Ah. And congratulations to Peyton Hawker, who has just been proclaimed the grand champion of this year's Lamb Show. Um, I've been in 4-H for eight years. I have I showed livestock for eight years, and I probably 
been in 4-H in general for nine. I did scrapbooking the first year, so it's different, but then kind of got, you know, the need to do livestock, so then dad was like, okay, why not? And now we're here. I was very, very nervous. <laughs> I just, I don't know, all the nerves got to me and I was, I don't know, I couldn't just relax a little bit like I should have. He did, he did exceptionally well. We've been showing through the summer. Um, so he's kind of used to this, used to the heat and everything. In addition to the Lamb Show Sunday, we caught up with one of the many 2020 Junior Fair royalty, the Lamb and Wool Queen, Madison Murphy. Preparing for fair is always like a busy week and then just like in general, like during the lambing season and in general, it's just busy. Like you got a lot to do, you got a lot to keep track of, like making sure everything's correct and making sure no one escapes. It's just all like got to be on top of everything. Besides being like at every show and making sure the ribbons like get passed out, I like see it as more like it's my job to promote like the lamb and wool. Like, lamb you don't find at stores, you don't find wool much, and it's like something like that people need to know. Maybe try some lamb? But just like promote like is the main job I feel like for me. Much more to come, but first we invited parents to submit photos of their 4-H members. Enjoy this brief look at just some of the many impacted in such a positive way by 4-H. to our Sunday recap. In addition to lambs, Sunday was also a key day for the horse and pony contests. Here's just a snippet of the day full of action. champion of champions for the barrel racing for the Allen County 2020 Fair. I feel that we did really good because our first couple patterns we are still learning because we didn't do them before and so they were pretty good for her just learning and the last few I thought were really good. We had our strong suits and our weeks but everybody does. Everybody has flaws but overall I think we did pretty good. I think okay this might be a little terminology but on the back side of the barrels, she usually does a pivot around the barrel, and this time she actually went around it very smoothly and in one swift motion, which is the goal. So it happened and it was really good. We have 4-H every Thursday, and I would also go on the days off from work that I had, and I would go and we would do just basic warm-ups and drills around barrels and pulls at my place that I board. and. Then Thursday every day we would come and we would run patterns and we would just exercise them and have fun with it. Congratulations to all of the winners in the horse and pony categories. Sunday also kicked off a full week of rabbit judging. We'll bring you a feature with the rabbit queen in our second recap show. But here's Patrick Candler with rabbit princess Haley Prine. WTLW continuing their coverage of the Allen County Fair this year and joining me is the 2020 Allen County Rabbit Princess Haley Prine. Now that brings a whole sort of questions to my mind so walk me through how do you become the Rabbit Princess? So I first started out in 4-H back in sixth grade. I had I've always had rabbits since I was little but I've always had this fascination with showing them. As you can see here today I have multiple rabbits with me 
But I started out with, I had this rabbit, and I made a deal with my dad. Like, if I could keep it, um, then we could show it the next year. And then later, we'd actually start showing it professional rabbit shows. And then from that, I would run across to this breed here behind us, which is a Rhinelander. They're the 16th rarest rabbit in the country. So I've, like, grown to love this breed. As you can see, they're very pretty. And I would just constantly work my way through it. Like, in my club, I would be work from becoming, like, the secretary to the vice president and such and helping out in the barn just like help with announcing helping little kids around like helping them handle the rabbit showing them what to do and the main points to look for now you said professional rabbit shows how how did you get plugged into that what does what does a professional rabbit show look like so a press a professional rabbit show will look like what we have here wednesday which is like where you take your rabbits up to the judges table and they just judge the rabbit based on its quality and anybody can show up to the show like a professional one and like you just enter there's a small entry fee of like three dollars per rabbit and then also they can win like grand champion legs and yeah. Now you've been involved in other things besides rabbits. So you, you've been involved in a number of things here uh, in general and also at the fair, correct? Yes, I also show chickens and ducks and I also do um, multiple special interests. Like I've shown photography over the years, cake decorating. I've brought helmeted guinea fowl, reptiles and amphibians. I've done astronomy. I even had a mentor project where it's one-on-one, -on -one, and you help these little kids learn how to show themselves. What's your favorite? My favorite part of it is going to definitely be the rabbits. I love having my rabbits and flipping them over and showing the judge what I know. It's fun. To, and also, I've had people come up to the barn and ask me what type of breed this is and where it came from and, like, where maybe they could get one. It's one of the greatest parts of sharing the information with other people. Now, you're a senior in Alan East, so how long have you been involved with rabbits? So I've been at Rabbits for about five years, which isn't as most as many people, but I've definitely climbed the ladder with them. As I started out, like, not knowing as much, since I started older, I've had to learn faster than the other kids and pick up more. And I'm up there with the other ones now. Well, Haley Prime, congratulations to Allen County Rabbit Princess, and good luck to you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. For anyone who shows rabbits, they'll know it's a major time commitment at the fair, but it's also a labor of love. Meet Megan Sutton. My name is Megan Sutton, and I'm in 4-H Club Herod Lively, and I show market rabbits and New Zealands. I got reserve champion, born and raised. Um, I, they were born at my house, and I raised them, and so it's a separate show, and not everybody does it, only the people that raised in their own rabbits. The judging process is um, they feel the rabbit, see if the loin is good, they check the teeth, they check the nails, they see like how the depth, the fur, they see if they got good flyback, which is where you go like this to the rabbit and see if the hair comes back to, back to what, the way it should be. The rabbits were really cute and they eat a lot. And then they, you got to make sure that they all feel good. They all, they're eating well. They're drinking well. They, you got to make sure that they're in good condition. Their fur's good. Got to keep them cooler because they'll get really hot and then not eat. It takes quite a bit of time. Um, you got to feed and water them every day, morning and night. And then you got to make sure that they're all good, up moving. Make sure that they all look good, nothing's wrong with them. More on rabbits in our second recap show. We'll also have pigs, goats, and dairy steers, and a continued focus on special interest projects, so make sure you tune in. But now we bring you more 4-H photo spotlights submitted by local parents. Thanks for watching the Allen County Junior Fair Recap Show number one. Make sure you tune in for recap show number two as well. This show has been brought to you by the Hefner Dairy Barn. Ice cream makes life a little sweeter.